Hey everyone, today I'm going to visit a Canadian neighbor. She's a musician, songwriter, owner of a record company, and mother of two children. So how will she spend the Spring Festival? Okay, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> 这样像我这样新春大吉佳节吉祥如意来富龙接财鸿运开<笑> What brought you here to China to come to and settle in Beijing? I studied Chinese at university. When I graduated university in Canada, I made a decision. I said, oh, should I follow my music dream or should I follow my China dream? So I followed my music dream. But then almost a decade later, I decided to take a trip and a break from my very busy career. And I came here for three months. And during that time, I felt like I had returned home. I thought Beijing was meant for me. Maybe it's because it's, uh, it's just so culturally rich and I changed my life. I left my career behind, restarted, and I haven't looked back. I'm wondering uh, what kind of influence uh, do your Chinese experience have on your music? I think China has helped me to see things from a wider, more global perspective. For me, living in China as an outsider, but being welcomed here, has helped me to see what it's like to be an outsider in my own country. For those who come and immigrate to my own country, now some of the topics of my songs, some of the messages in my songs, are coming from a perspective of having the roots be in the West, but having my mind be much more broadened with after a life in the East. And I would like to think that art uh, could have the capacity to bridge those differences in culture. Do artists have the responsibility to create a better world through their works? But do you have any songs or lyrics talking about problems like war and peace, gender equality, climate change or something like that? Oh, absolutely. My albums, I have 13 albums, including many songs that have never been recorded. There are countless songs about global issues. I think even our individual personal experiences are a microcosm of the bigger world. I think music can really can really make a difference if if we're just, you know, presenting it with the hope to make a difference. It it has that potential. So if we're doing them with a with a mindfulness and a and a kindness, a goodness, an intention of goodness, then we are at least making the world a better place in our small sphere. You always try your best to present the real China in your eyes and telling foreigners that China is not totally uh, the same as some foreign media sites. When people don't understand another culture or country, the first reaction is to, uh, is to block that. I, I don't understand it, so I don't want to understand it. And sometimes a person like me can open that block. I think it's important to really speak to people who have lived in, in that place. It's just like here. So you get a certain view of what's happening in Canada or in North America, let's say, include the US. You know, we'll go to Gaul, right? They'll say, oh, so you do Canada and go to Gaul, ma. And of course I say, no, I am not what Canada looks like. With the media, China will be talked about in the media in Canada in a very certain way. And when I come back to Canada, people say, huh, well, China's a threat. I say, where? China's not being threatening. No one's being threatening here. And uh, it's just a misunderstanding about power. And they'll say, how can you live in China when there's so much pollution in China, especially air pollution? I say, it's true that Beijing did have an air pollution problem, but it's unbelievable what the country has done to work on that problem in the last five to 10 years. Just, there's just so much environmentalism happening here that isn't talked about in the media in the West. So these are the things that I like to clarify. Hopefully I'll inspire more and more people to try China and to not be afraid of China because it's so different. But that's what makes it cool, right? So if you were asked to compose a song 
about China? What ideas would you have? One thing about Chinese,、uh, certainly Chinese philosophy, is how few words can say so much. So a few lyrics, the mixture of instruments. I think it would have to have both languages. Hopefully, it would have a message about humanity. We all have the same、uh, desires for health and love and、um, family and adventure and success. We are all the same, ultimately. Therefore, it would become a song about China, but also about people in general. So, Westerners who heard that song would say, "Oh, this this represents China, but I also can see myself in this song." China is unpredictable, but that's part of its dynamism, right? It's always this dynamic, changing place, so that affects foreigners as well. I never decided to stay for 15 years, but here I am. Do you know how Chinese people greet each other during Spring Festival? Well, besides the Gong Xi Fa Cai, but that but this is the Dragon Year, so I don't know what to say in the Dragon Year. Tell me, teach me. Long Tang Hu Yue. So I say, 新年快乐，龙腾虎跃 Yeah. Yeah. I really am looking forward to see you. In the next Spring Festival, <laughs> yeah, you probably will. Yeah, you and I, I, I can teach you another new word about the year of Shu Snack. 大吉大利，吉祥如意。啊，我知道大吉大利。And 五福临门。